going on everybody? I uh, want to make a quick video today on uh, some parts I got from LMW Fab. Um, specifically this video is going to be on the A-arms upper and lower for the Polaris RS1. And uh, ordered a couple parts from them. Um, previously, well in the past I've gotten their um, XP1000 sway bar links that are pretty sweet. This one already has radius rods on it from LMW Fab. Um, but wanted to go ahead and get the, the A-arm for it as well. So I'm going to open these up and kind of give you my first impressions on them and then I guess the reasoning as to why I bought their arms. Um, I'm going to save this package for the next video. So I guess watch to see what the next one's going to be. But um, with these A-arms, the stock ones have done really well. I've got almost 3,000 miles on that car right now and one of them has bowed just ever so slightly. I've really probably bent it a thousand miles ago, but gonna, we're starting to ride a lot harder trails and I want to make sure that I'm ready to, uh, I just, uh, folding an A-arm is going to be a nightmare. So, without any more wasting time, go ahead and crack into this thing. So right before I open this, I wanted to say one more thing. Spent a couple hours out here cleaning the shop up. I uh, can't decide on that, I still don't like this perspective. Um, but if you have any ideas, leave those down below. I'd love to know what you guys wanted to see and if this is too loud in the background. I feel like there's too much stuff in the background, but um, did a couple things. Been out here cleaning the shop up. I even sprayed the table with SC1 trying to keep it clean, but it is what it is. If you see a better angle that you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, but this is what we're going to roll with today. As you can see, it's super hot out here and uh, I don't know. Time to film this thing. So go ahead and crack this thing open. This is the pick that I got from uh, John Fiber, you know or the belt tools, what he told me. So we'll see. Holy shit, they are heavy. I can't wait to see how that compares. I mean, that is so heavy duty. I, can't, I was wondering why I was about to break my back carrying all these things to the house. I mean, weight different from a stock A-arm. Um, Almost kind of concerning, to be honest with you. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I just know the factory A-arms are super light, and I wonder, I wonder what that's going to do to my corner weights on the car. But let's go ahead and pull this other one out. I know that L&W Fab offers a like lifetime warranty if you bend one or break one. I can see why they would do that. <laughs> I can see why they would do that. So let's go ahead and take a, I guess this is going to actually be both of my lowers. I don't know. Those are, these were going to be my uppers here because of the shock mount. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get you some close up here in just a second. Overall first impression is ridiculous heavy duty. I mean, these are stout. I mean, those things are stout. So let's go ahead and check out the let's go ahead and check out the lowers as well. Um, I'm sure I'm going to cut in here so that you can see uh, a little close-ups of these things. But let me go ahead and open this one up as well. That little sticker that it came with. And I just ripped my return label here. So if I had one complaint to make so far, packaging super nice. I hate touching that stuff. I don't know what it is. The noise, I don't know what it is. I can't, I, I hate touching that stuff. But, Packed up really well. I mean, the things are ridiculous. I mean, the things are ridiculous. Do I have to put the massive ball joints in there? I don't even know. I might have gotten the ones with the massive ball joints. I got to check on that, but things are stout. And it's going to need massive ball joints if they're this heavy. But So I didn't want to make a comment opening this thing up. Sent you a sticker, but 
Um, I think this is it just shows some personal touch. Nothing crazy. Although I did rip it, I I apologize to them for doing that. But you know they got the return policy. They got their warrant. The instructions are online how to do it. I'm gonna make a video on how to do it. Um, but just little touches like that, I think, are really nice. And uh, the packaging is clearly not some Chinese bullshit like uh, you're gonna find on Amazon. I mean, this is some really really nice stuff. So just wanted to point that out. But taking a closer look at these things, I mean. They are just stout. Welds look awesome. And I'm going to try and measure and just weigh these things because they are unreal. So these are going to be the lowers and then these are the uppers. I got these quad boss ball joints. Nothing too crazy there, but I'm gonna run those. It's about time to replace them. Like I said, the car has um, 3,000 miles on it almost, and this is the bend I was talking about here. About time to replace them. They still look pretty clean. I mean, they're beat up though, for sure. Shock mounts are nice. Nothing flimsy about these guys. I don't see any reason. Oh no, I lied to you. That's a sway bar. This is going to be your shock. So for whatever reason in my head, um, ordering these things, I was thinking it was going to be a direct replacement and that it wasn't going to be that much bigger or stronger for whatever I don't know why I thought that I didn't look at it that much I just LW fabs I bought the radius rods and love them um, super stout and I should have known that these were going to be as stout as they are but I really am blown away with the build quality on them very very nice um, I mean there's no blemishes on these things whatsoever powder coat is super solid the shipping was really good um, I know they said that they were back ordered for a couple of weeks and I hope um, I, I hope I'm not putting them in a bind by saying this, but the stuff came in like a week. Um, they're pretty close to me. They're in Georgia. Um, but overall, again, these things are awesome. I'm really uh, way more stuck than I thought I was going to be for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why. But super, super nice. And uh, I'll be making a video of putting these things on here in the future. Um, wanted to go through a couple more pieces to the puzzle here if you're curious about specs on these things or different colors you can get. So... The full kit is 840 bucks, and you can get them, you can save $50 if you don't get them powder coated, but sky blue, black obviously is what I got, indie red, raw, or silver. Again, raw is going to save you a little bit of money if you want to paint it by yourself, um, but for 50 bucks, I mean, they're, they're really nice. Um, the, again, the full kit is $840. The uppers, excuse me, the lowers by themselves are 450 bucks, and then the uppers are... 450 bucks as well. That's with the powder coat. As far as the build, the size of the components here, so it's inch and a quarter tubing. So a little more information, technical side of this. So 840 bucks for the full set. I think it's 450 dollars for either if you get the lowers or the uppers. Um, powder coat. Is included in that pricing there I think you can deduct $50 if you want to save a little money and painting yourself I would not recommend doing that it looks super nice going back to the powder coat um, you can get them raw if you'd like uh, I do not believe that means there's a clear coat over them um, that's I would have loved to have a clear I don't know if they make a clear powder coat or not but I I would have loved to see those would have been pretty cool um, obviously they come in black they come in a sky blue indie red which I believe matches up with this um, and I think white. But you can go to their website, LNW Fab. I'll have that in the description below. Very, very impressed with these things. And I'm going to get them installed again. I'll shoot a video for that to, to, to show you guys as well. And, uh, but at first impressions, it's really outstanding. The company has uh, made a really, really awesome parts here. If I had to any cons, um, I would have loved to seen a CNC badge, LNW Fab badge on these things. Uh, I think that would be really awesome. Other than that, I mean, they're, they're stout. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, hopefully, if you like stuff like this, let me know. I'll make some more videos like this. And uh, 
if you got pointers on how I should set everything up, let me know. I think there's a little too much going on in the background to be doing videos like this and my angle's a little bit off. But tried to, like again, I tried to clean it up, tried to clean the place up and, and make it look nice, uh, step up the video a little bit. But if this did anything for you, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more riding videos. And then certainly if you got any specific parts you want to see, let me know. One last thing. I can't decide. So I bought this other white RS1 over here with the plan of either racing it or making it into a tube chassis. But I think what I'm going to do, because that one only has 600 miles on it, I think I'm going to take all the parts off of this guy and put them on to the white one as a dedicated trail rig. And then I'm going to either race this one or tube chassis it. So let me know what you guys would rather see. I think that would be really awesome. But I'd like to go beat the shit out of this one and then have this as a backup. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Well, have a good one.